guys this is the path and the point that got to me the most if you tell a guy he shouldn't be wearing boxers would he stop wearing boxers just because <laughs> hey guys and welcome back to my channel my name is job jemima if this is your first time seeing this beautiful face please don't make it your last by clicking on the subscribe button and the notification bell beside so you get notified every single time i make a new upload today guys i'm going to be doing something slightly different from what i normally do here on my channel i will be doing a book review on the book title mm -hmm, why men marry bitches and i know it sounds a little controversial but stick with me so without further ado let's jump right into the video i believe sherry agov chose this book title as a way to get people talking about this book because later in this book we are going to find out that the b word here stands for babe in total control of our actions and not the bitch that we properly know i believe this book helps us see the way men think and kind of empowering ladies to know how to act while dating a man before dating a man and when you get into a relationship with a man i believe any lady that reads this book is going to transit from being a dormant a dormant into being a dream girl every man would want for kids uh, guys and some of these mistakes sherry agov highlighted in a book that we women make are things you and i have done in the past like literally when i was reading this book i was so like mm, why did i do this why did i do that it was literally every line for me i'm going to be listing five mistakes we make in our relationship with men as, as stated in this book the first mistake we make in our relationship with men is being too nice being too nice of a girl when she says a bitch a bitch is not an arrogant lady is not a saucy lady boy is just a lady with boundaries a lady like i said bitch babe in full control of herself when i say being too nice as a lady it means going out of your way to please a guy this is a guy that isn't even in a committed relationship with you yet but you go to his house you scrub his toilet you cook his food and you know all that just so he can pick you and that would give you off as being desperate and too clingy and trust me no man wants something he didn't work for a nice girl is basically down for everything and she does all this stuff so that the guy can reciprocate her actions back but she comes up as being desperate and malleable and a guy doesn't want somebody he can ride over i'll be taking you into the mind of a nice girl and into the mind of a dream girl these are some of the actions of a nice girl that brings her off as desperate and a guy is not going to take this kind of this kind of girl seriously first of all she calls him often and says please return my call who does that this is 2023 she is on call like a rookie flight attendant he calls you at night for a booty call wherever and anything you are doing when he calls you off you go you jump to his house jump to see him like you have no business of your own <laughs> she makes it obvious a relationship is a goal before she knows much about him when he does call her she's mad he didn't call sooner and so inside the mind of a dream girl is she gets back to him when she's free she sees him when it is convenient for her she goes out to have fun and doesn't make promises to a virtual stranger when he calls her is curious where she is and why she's not there so guys i'm sure you guys have heard of the phrase that being a good girl doesn't pay and this doesn't mean living your life in a wayward way or a way that doesn't please god it just means being too nice to a guy doing what you shouldn't do when you are not in a committed relationship with a guy is not going to take you seriously literally men want a lady that puts them in their place that isn't too nice so if you know you do all these things you should try to stop because men love women that are in total control of their actions not a nice girl you shouldn't be nice to bad boys you shouldn't be nice to men that are not committed with you because pounding yam for him and doing all this stuff isn't going to make him marry you or pick you you understand the next mistake women make is putting their life on hold and dismissing their activities just to be with a guy men like independent women women that can thrive off 
on their own without a man they don't want a clingy lady when you start to dismiss your activities just to be with a guy he isn't going to take you serious she gave an example of a lady in a book that uh, a rich guy and a high caliber man asked her out on an exotic trip to another country but the girl declined just because she had a um was he a cocktail i mean what kind of party just a very very small party with her friends and so he was very surprised how she would turn down his request to travel out just to be able to focus on what is very important to her when you focus on your activities that business you do and not dismiss your activity just to be with a guy at all times is going to respect you more when you have your, a life of your own and when you start to dismiss your activities for a man it begins to see you as a weight and not a prize never lose yourself in a relationship never stop doing what you were doing before a guy came into your life if you go to the gym in time pass before you met that guy you should keep going to the gym even while in a relationship so the next mistake we make as ladies in our relationship with men is depending on him financially for everything and guys this is the part and the point that got to me the most depending on a guy for everything in a relationship financially and this doesn't mean you are to earn as much as he does it just means to be able to provide for yourself and take care of your basic needs when you depend on a guy financially for everything as time goes by he's going to start seeing you as um a sister as somebody he has to fend for and it would begin to dictate to you what you like and what you don't like because literally you don't have a means to survive on your own and you start acting like a servant just to keep getting the benefits and you also would not be able to dictate how you want to be treated because when you voice out your opinion definitely the guy might send you back in but when you have your own in a relationship when you are financially stable and you can take care of yourself your feeding your shelter and all that the man is going to love you the more and want to be with you because he knows you are independent as long as you have the resources to choose your own terms you are always going to have power in your relationship with a man having your own in a relationship financially it means when he buys you a meal it's not from a place of hunger so he's not buying you a meal because you are hungry and you can't afford it's giving you as a gift which you either choose to accept or dismiss this is the point that stand out for me because basically i know we ladies tolerate many things from a guy just because we want their money and it is so 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 bad that is why as ladies we should strive to have our own financially gaining financial independence should be top on your list as your life goes as a woman you guys so the next mistake we make in a relationship is accepting disrespect from a man when a man disrespects you and you take it he's surely going to do that more often and he's going to start to lose respect for you guys will respect you more when you don't allow them walk over you when you stand up for yourself when he does something disrespectful you are not going to let it slide you are going to voice out your opinion oh you can't treat me this way what you did here is bad no high caliber man wants a woman he can walk over so guys the last mistake we make in a relationship is agreeing to everything a guy says without having a mind of our own and this all comes down to voicing your opinion like i said in my other video men don't like to do all the thinking men don't respect a lady that can't think for herself and always wants the guy to give his decision as to what she's going to do in her life you should be able to think for yourself don't be a yes lady that anything a guy says you are just going to say yes yes to it even though that's not your decision even though that's not how you want things to go you should always have a voice of your own you should be an independent thinker if a man says i don't like this hairstyle you know you like the hairstyle you shouldn't stop making it just because a guy said he doesn't like this hairstyle you have your own life is either he keeps up with it or he leaves don't lose yourself in a relationship if you tell a guy he shouldn't be wearing boxers 
would he stop wearing boxers just because <laughs> just because you said you don't like him putting on boxer so don't be a yes woman have a mind of your own do what you want to do don't let a guy decide for you at all times don't let a guy decide for you at all times so know what you want and go for it so guys i've come to the end of this book review basically i can't tell you all the book says but you are actually going to benefit more if you try to read it for yourself this is a very great book and i strongly recommend you know i kept it on my social media platform on facebook that oh i strongly recommend this book for ladies and some people were like oh feminists this is this are what they do this and that if you follow our advice you're going to be single why some people consented to the book being great others did not but i'm a christian and definitely i'm not going to do anything against the word of god but this book I strongly recommend for ladies so guys i'll see you in the next one thank you so much for watching please give this video a like if you've read the book as well and you know something we should learn from this book please be sure to leave it in the comment section and i'll see you in the next one thank you so much for watching bye